I'm Mark. Some people call me the fish killer. I'm here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm pouring some lead weights today with my uh, hot pot and my um, do it molds. Today I'm going to be pouring some lead sinkers. I've got eight 10 ounce pyramids, pyramid molds, and I've also got some bank sinker molds. Want to get a close up of these, Francine? Those are bank sinkers. And today I'm going to be pouring the 8 and 10 ounce molds for plunking off the uh, bank in the Columbia River. The 8s and 10s hold the current real well. It's a lot of weight, but then that's what it takes to keep the uh, line from moving in the current. So let me show you how I do this. I'm using a little pot here made by an outfit called Palmer and it's a pretty easy little pot for production mold pouring. It's pretty quick. It's just a 110 hooks up to 110 outlet. Um, some guys use propane, some guys, some guys use uh, uh, big pots. I've seen them using barbecues. This is a real easy way to do it. Now you got to be careful. There's a lot of safety things involved here because lead melts between like six and seven hundred degrees. So that stuff is really, really hot. That's why I'm wearing short pants and sleeveless shirts. See, only because <laughs> only because I know what I'm doing. I'm confident in myself. What you do need to have though is some good gloves. You got to have gloves because this stuff gets really hot. And when you're putting your lead into the pot. You know, you got to make sure not to drop it in. It splashes. It gets all over you, and it, it burns pretty bad. So, let me show you how we pour this stuff. The sinkers I'm pouring today, of course, have need eyes on them, and you can buy these eyes at your eyelets. They call them. You can buy them at your local uh, tackle shop inexpensive stuff and these molds get real hot so another reason why you got to have gloves so you put your the eyes in there set the eyes in just like that I like to squeeze them make it a little bit them a little bit tighter so that they don't move when they're in the mold like so just like that see how you got those eyelets in there now we close the mold, just like this. Turn the mold up, and there's our holes where we're going to pour the uh, molten lead into. Now here's your lead. You can see I'm I'm stirring it a little bit, and I'm separating the impurities in the lead from the pure lead there, see? It's just, they call it dross or slag or just, it's just junk, impurities in, in the lead. No lead is pure, but it's good to draw it off, take it off and put it into a tin can and then you've got nice pure lead there, easy to pour. Very hot. Now all you do is pour it straight into the mold. Nice even flow, just like that. There we go. Now this stuff hardens really quick. You can see how the color changed from that real metallic to this matte color. It's already hard, but you want to leave it in there for, I don't know, at least 30 seconds or so. And then when you're ready to pop that thing open, just pull it apart. There's a couple of perfect bank sinkers, 8 and 10 ounce. Gloves come in handy because that stuff is really hot. Pull them out of there. Like that. And then of 
course, you've got your the piece there from the pour. You have to cut off. I just use a diagonal cutters like this. Give it a snip. And there's your lead weight. With the piece that's left over here, I just take a little grinder and grind it off. Or you can take a file and file it away. And of course, you just take your piece here that you popped off and throw it back in your pot again. Here's my 10 ounce. Just chip that stuff off of there. perfectly poured 10 ounce lead. And then of course you, you've got to find a source of lead, which is not always an easy thing to do, but um, scrap metal dealers, um, gas stations for lead weights that they put on rims of tires, on wheels, um, some medical Outfits, hospitals sometimes have lead. Lots of places to get lead. It's getting increasingly harder to find, but it's out there. Um, a lot of old salt fishermen are out there with a lot of lead too. Sometimes you find them at garage sales. But here's a good pour of uh, eight and 10 ounces. Saves me a lot of money. Works real good. Great from the bank. And it's a lot of fun too. Okay, I'm gonna pour one more here for you. A couple more here. As you can see, I poured a good 30 of them here in about an hour. Had a lot of fun doing it. Fishing's been slow, so pour lead, huh? Okay, let's do two more here real quick. Nice and smooth, right into the mold. Nice even flow. more there. Let them cool off a little bit. In the meantime, take a look at my beautiful garden over here. Beautiful spring colors in Portland, Oregon. For you a rose and Portland grows, baby. Come visit us out here in Portland, Oregon. So here's my last two here. Pop that mold open. Nice molds, nice leads, pyramid sinkers. That's all there is to it. Just remember, precautions, safety glasses, well ventilated area, gloves, and that's about it. So, Mark, checking out. Be well, fish on, go Huskies.